plan to be up here very long. Amen. I got some work to do when I get home. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you on this Mother's Day to open up your Bibles to the book of Proverbs. <laughs> the book of Proverbs. We're going to come from chapter 22, verse 6. Amen. Hallelujah. I, tried, I had to try to narrow it down. Amen. Because as most of you know, the book of Proverbs is the book of wisdom. And in the book of Proverbs, it refers to wisdom as her. Amen. Hallelujah. It refers to wisdom as her. Amen. And it almost makes me think of things my mother used to say. Words of wisdom, amen, hallelujah, when you're doing something wrong, that voice that you would often hear in the back of your head sounded like your mother, amen, <laughs> hallelujah. And we're going to talk about training up your children, because that's what mothers do, amen. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 says this, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. Let me read that again. Amen. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Which means sometimes they may not go the way that they should go. Amen. Hallelujah. But you train the child up the way they should go. And when they're old, amen, when they come to a point, hallelujah, where they get tired of doing whatever they were doing, they'll come back to themselves and remember what you put in them. Hallelujah. And they will not depart from it. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing king. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about training children. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Training children. Amen. The word train. Amen. It means to teach a particular skill or behavior through practice and instruction over a period of time. Amen. Hallelujah. So training, amen, it's a process that starts when the children are young and you start when they're young to start training them for when they're old. Amen? Amen. Amen. It reminds me of when I was in the Army, there were two types of training that we used to receive. There was cross training and there was train-up training. Cross training is where you learn several different tasks and jobs. And who better than a mother to cross train? Amen? Because who multitasks better than mama? Amen. Amen? Amen? Amen. As the song used to say, mamas know how to bring home the bacon, fry it up in the pan. Amen? Hallelujah. They know how to do it all. Amen? And who better to teach you how to cross train? Amen? To be proficient in different areas than mama. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Mamas do it all. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Sometimes working two, three jobs at a time. Amen? Amen. And still maintaining, hallelujah, the, the, the area of the home. Amen? Because that's what mamas do. They know how to do it all. Amen? Amen. And I've heard it said that, you know, it takes a man to teach a man how to be a man. I think it takes a man to show a man how to be a man. But I believe women have a whole lot of input on how to teach men how to be men. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs, amen, if you look at the last chapter, it says that King Lemuel was giving us the instructions that he got from his mother. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It was, his, it was his mother that told him, don't mess with strong drinks, son. It ain't good for you. Right. It was his mother that said, don't be chasing all these wild women. Amen. amen. Letting them divide your strength everywhere. Amen. 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 It was his mother, amen, that told him to be you know, judge wisely and be fair and just in what you do. Amen? Amen. 
It was his mother that told him, you need to find you a good woman, a virtuous woman who can find her. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe women also tell that they're multitaskers. Amen. Amen. Mamas all they tell their daughters how they're supposed to be too. And they say, if you're a virtuous woman, <laughs> hallelujah, you'll know how to cook, you'll know how to clean, yeah, you'll right. know how to pay yeah. the bills, you'll know yeah. how to make the money, yeah. you'll know how to do all the things that have caused your family to be looked at in a way that people say, that's a good woman right there. Amen. All that comes Amen. from the training that they receive from mom. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Cross training. Amen. Amen. It comes from learning from somebody who's done it. Amen. Done multi, did all the different tasks at different times because mama had to sometimes. That's right. Amen. 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 But it's also not just cross training, but train up training. Mm -hmm. Train up training was where you learn how to work on the next level. Mm -hmm. Where you are trained on how to do the job that you're going into even before you get to it. And see, that's the thing that mamas also do. They train their children in what they're going to do, hallelujah, when they grow up. Let's go somewhere. I want you to see it in a few places. Amen. We'll go to where we first read. Amen. Or where I first quoted Proverbs chapter 31. Mothers, we appreciate you for everything Amen. you do. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 1. It says, The words of King. Lemuel, the prophecy, the prophecy that his mother taught him. In other words, his mother saw something down the road that she knew he had to prepare for. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. His mother prophetically uttered, hallelujah, what it was that his destiny had in store for him. We're training up the children in the way they should go. Amen. That means when you look at the children, you should see something in them, hallelujah, that inspires you to teach them to do what it is you believe they're called to do. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You have to have high expectations for your children. Amen. Yeah. Expecting them to exceed, to excel, to achieve. Hallelujah. To succeed. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And even if they, we don't always measure up to the high expectations, but we'll always live down to low expectations. That's why it's so important that the mothers see something in the children that causes them to expect something from them. Amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to go somewhere else because I want you to know, amen, that mamas, your job, part of your job is to see something in the children and expect something from them. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's go to um, Hebrews chapter 11. The Faith Hall of Fame. Where it goes down the list and tells everything that people did by faith. Or many things that people did by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 says this. By faith. Moses. When he was born. Was hid three months by his parents. Because they saw something in him. They saw yes. he was a proper child. Thank you, How do you see something in a three month old? Oh, yeah. Only a mother and a father can see something in a child. Amen. When they're that age. Amen. Hallelujah. Only the people. Hallelujah. That invested. Hallelujah. And carried and cared for that child. Can see something in that child from the time that they're born. Amen. 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 We've often talked about how we knew the children's demeanor and personality even in the womb. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We knew that Roy was going to be some type of athlete. Amen. Because he never, he wouldn't sit still in there. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Had high expectations. We knew that Jaden was going to be cool, calm, and collected. Amen. Because even in the womb, sometimes we had to say, hey, you in there? And he can't occasionally give you a little uh, <laughs> But the mama's got to see something in the children and hold them accountable and responsible for it. Amen? Amen. Amen. I can remember times when the children, you know, may, maybe they fell a little behind on homework or something was happening where they had gotten to a point where maybe they were satisfied with the grade they were getting, but mama never was. Amen. 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 And she held them to a higher standard of accountability, hallelujah, because she had a high expectation for them. Amen. 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 That's what mamas do. Mamas expect something, amen, of me and you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's not always pleasant, but in the end, it's good for us, amen. They're training us up in the way that we should go. Amen. Hallelujah. So that when we're old, hallelujah, we won't depart from it. We'll come back to it, amen. Hallelujah. And there's no age limit, amen, on that when you're old thing. Because the parents don't stop being parents. Mamas don't stop being mamas just because we're grown. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't you ever think that you too grown. Amen. Amen. For your mama to tell you what to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because she sees something in you. Amen. Amen. She sees something in you. It makes me think of Numbers chapter 13 verse 33. Where it says that the 12 spies went into the promised land. 10 spies came back with one report. Two spies came back with another. The two spies came back from, the, from spying the promised land. And they said that the land looks just like God said it would. It's flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. It's a land to be desired. Hallelujah. It's, 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 we can go in and possess it because God said it. The other ten came back and said they're giants in the land. The land eats up its inhabitants. We can't take the land. We were as grasshoppers in our own sight. And therefore, we were as grasshoppers in their sight. See, you teach people how to view you by how you view you. And you know how to view you by how mama views you. Mama has high expectations of you. Amen? Hallelujah. So you ought to have high expectations of you. Amen? I was in the grocery store just yesterday trying to find some crab legs. Because uh, we decided late that we were going to cook my wife some, some dinner. Amen. All the other plans fell through. But as I was in the store, I saw this couple. And this man and this woman were together. And I saw this man snatch this bag out of this woman's hand. And it just made me think she doesn't know that she doesn't have to be treated like that. Mama didn't teach her her value, her worth. Hallelujah. That she was, her price was far above rubies. That you don't have to settle for being mistreated. You can do good all by yourself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That's what a mama would teach you. That's what a mama should teach as she trains up her children in the way that they should go. Amen. 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 You got to teach your children how to see themselves so that they can teach other people how they should see them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you see your children as kings and queens? That's what the book of Proverbs chapter 31 said. King Lemuel 
I'm speaking prophetically before you even take the throne. You're a king. And some things are beneath you. You're a king. Hallelujah. And some things are not good enough for you. Hallelujah. And the same thing goes about what he, she was teaching her son about the woman he should marry. She's a queen. Hallelujah. And she's regal. She's royal. Hallelujah. And even the people in the gate, when you go to do business, they know who she is. Hallelujah. And they have a respect for her. Hallelujah. Because a, a mama teaches her children what they're supposed to be. the kings. They're queens. My Bible says that even as early as the first mother, Eve, God said to her that your child is going to stomp the devil's head. You got to see your children as devil stompers. Hallelujah. So that nothing, hallelujah, is too difficult for them. Hallelujah. And nothing is too much for them to overcome. Hallelujah. Because the devil is under their feet. Hallelujah. He's only bruising their heel. Hallelujah. Because they're stepping on his head. Amen. 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 Mama, see this in their children. Hallelujah. And expect nothing less than that for them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you see in your children, mother? Mm -hmm. Hold them accountable. Hold them responsible. Hallelujah. Because there's something in you, hallelujah, that sees the potential in them. Amen. Mm. Amen. I'm trying to get off the, the desk, honey, kind of brother. <laughs> but I'm reminded of when the Bible says, Jesus went to a wedding with his mama. Mm -hmm. And they ran out of wine. Come on, come on. And Mary turned to Jesus mm -hmm. and said, They have no wine. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, What does that have to do with me? My time is not here yet. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm your mama. I'm telling you. <laughs> your time is now. <laughs> I know there's something in you. I knew it was in you before you was born. When the angel came and told me that you was coming, hallelujah, I've been waiting for this moment for your whole life. So whatever he tells you to do, you do it. Because something's going to happen because there's something in him. That's what the mama knew. Hallelujah. That's what mamas know. They know that there's something in in their children. What do you see in your children? What do you say to your children? Here's a way it gets tricky. What do you say to your children? Because you can say something and it be completely right. But it be received completely wrong. Yes, sir. Let's we read from Proverbs chapter 1. I'm going to read from Proverbs chapter 8 where it says something similar. Verse 1 Doth not wisdom cry and understand put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She cries at the gate, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. It says wisdom is crying out, hallelujah, crying in the marketplace, crying at the place where they do bills, business, crying, hallelujah, at the center of the city, Unto you, men, I call my voice is to the sons of man. And she says this, O ye simple, understand wisdom. O ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. 
What she said was completely right. But the way it can be received is completely wrong. Because she called the man simple and called him a fool. A friend of mine once said, you can put a gourmet meal on a trash can lid and nobody will eat it. It's not just what you see, it's also how you say it. James chapter 3 verse 10 says, out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and curses. Shouldn't be. But when you talk to your children, amen, your little children all the way up to your adult children, speak to them in a way that encourages them, provokes them, hallelujah, and causes them to believe, hallelujah, that they can do everything you said they can do. Mm. Sometimes in the presentation, since it's Mother's Day, I won't I won't bring anybody else's what somebody said out. I'll bring up I'll, I'll put it on my father. <laughs> Daddy used to say things like, if you had a brain, you'd take it out and play with it. <laughs> you ain't worth 15 cents in Chinese money. <laughs> And saying things like this, don't provoke the children, it breaks the children and causes them to think down low little and light about themselves when you want them to think up high and greater of themselves. You're supposed to prophesy to them. Prophesy. You're a king. You're a queen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Greatness is above, is before you. Hallelujah. Yeah. And something good is about to happen yeah. to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're speaking to the children, training them up in the way that they should go. Yeah. And if you encourage them, they'll do it. Yeah. They'll get there. Yeah. They'll achieve it. Because they'll believe what you say. Proverbs 31 verse 26. She openeth her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. Train up the children in the way that they should go in the way that they should grow up, in the way that they should go past the levels and the limitations that they thought were possible. It happens not just when you see it in them, but when you say it in a way, hallelujah, that makes them believe in themselves. Hallelujah. We need you. Even when we're old. We need you, Mama. To keep encouraging us. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you. We thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father, for blessing us with mothers, godmothers, stepmothers, mother-in-laws, mothers in love, hallelujah, grandmothers, all of the mother figures, hallelujah, that impart and implant things in us, hallelujah, causing us to know, hallelujah, how much we are loved and how much is expected of us because they see it in us. They know the potential that was in us from the time that we were in the womb. Hallelujah. And they'll accept nothing less. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give a mother a hug. Amen. And let them know I'm so glad. Hallelujah. I got you. Hallelujah. On Mother's Day. Amen. Like I said, Godmothers, grandmothers, stepmothers, mother-in-law, hallelujah, mother in love, hallelujah. Any mother figure, amen, don't let them leave here without feeling the love of God, amen. Be blessed and be dismissed in Jesus' name.